Alright, so this video we're going to look at converting the equation of a circle from general form to standard form. So first let's look at and see what general form is and what standard form is. So the standard form of the equation of a circle with center hk and radius r is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And the general form for the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ef pl plus ey plus f equals zero. <clears throat> so we're going to be given the equation of a circle in this form and we want to convert it to this standard form. Alright, so let's take a look at a couple of examples. Alright, so <clears throat> Here's our first example. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take the constant term, this minus 8 here, and move it to the other side. So to do that, we'll add 8 to both sides. So that's x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 2y equals 8. Alright, now we want to we want to group the x terms and the y terms together. So that's going to give me x squared plus 8x, and I'm going to group them together, I'm going to put them in parentheses, and I'm going to leave a little space here, plus, and then y squared minus 2y, put that in parentheses and leave a little space, equals 8. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square on this and complete the square on this. <clears throat> so if you remember how to complete the square, we take the number in front of x and we half it. And half of 8 is 4, and then we square the 4, and that's 16. So I add 16. And since I added 16 to this side, I have to also add 16 to this side. And then we'll do the same thing here. The number in front of y, I half the 2, that gives me 1. And then I square the 1. 1 squared is 1. And since I added 1 here, I have to add 1 to the other side. All right, now if you can remember back to factoring, <clears throat> if you remember a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b squared and a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b squared. <clears throat> okay, This is in this form and this one is in this form. See the plus and then here the minus. Okay, So they're going to both, this is in this form so it factors into this. This is in this form so it factors into this. Remember the perfect square trinomials. And all you do is it's going to be parentheses squared and then it's the square root of this first term which is a, this sign here, and then the square root of the last term. And then same thing here. Square root of this is a, this sign, minus, and the square root of that term goes there. And they'll factor like that every time. That's what uh, completing the square does. So let me get rid of this. <coughs> Alright, so this factors. I've got my parentheses squared. Square root of the first term is x, this sign, and square root of the last term, which is 4. Plus parentheses squared. The square root of the first term is y, this sign, and square root of the last term, square root of 1 is 1, and that equals 25 <clears throat> when I add this. And there's your standard equation. And, you know, since we're here, let's just go ahead. We know the center is what? Negative 4, 1, and the radius is the square root of 25, which equals 5. I know we didn't have to do that, but that's a little extra. Just remember your HK, the signs in front of this, is the opposite of what you see here. Okay, So if it's a plus, it's minus. If it's a minus, it's a plus. 
and then r is the square root of this. I've got a separate video on this so you can watch it if you need to. Alright, so let's look at the second example. <clears throat> okay, so let's move the 9 fourths over. Okay, and so that's going to give me x squared plus y squared plus 3x plus 5y equals negative 9 fourths. And then I'm going to group my x and y terms together. So that's x squared plus 3x. Put that in parentheses and leave a little space. Plus, and then I've got y squared plus 5y, leave a little space, equals negative 9 fourths. All right, so let's complete the square on each one. So I half the 3, and when I half the 3, that's the same thing as dividing by 2. So that's 3 over 2, and then I square it. 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, so that's... All right. Now, I had a little technical difficulty there, but we've got it straightened out. So, I half the 3 and square it. I get 9 fourths. So, I add 9 fourths. So, that means I add 9 fourths to the other side. And then I take the 5, and I half the 5, so divide it by 2, and then I square that. And so, that's going to give me 25 over 4. So I add 25 over 4, so that means I add 25 over 4 to the other side. Alright, so now let's factor each one. Remember how we did in the first problem. So it's squared. So remember, it's the square root of this, which is x, this sign, and then the square root of 9 fourths is 3 halves. Let me write that a little better. plus, and then square root of the y squared is y, this sign, and square root of the last term, square root of 25 over 4 is 5 halves, and that equals, well, the 9 fourths cancel out, so I'm left with 25 over 4. And for fun, we can go ahead and state the center. Remember, it's the opposite sign, so that's negative 3 halves, negative 5 halves. And then the radius is the square root of 25 over 4, which is 5 halves. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. All right, thanks.